there's nothing that will turn you on to exactly how messed up the system is than being the tool of its implementation. You know, it, it really, it really clears it up for you real quick. <laughs> From Alcapulco, Mexico, this is Anarchast. Hey everybody, welcome to Anarchast, your home for anarchy on the internet. I've got a great first time guest coming on. It's a person I've seen off and on over the last few months. A lot of people who t I tend to follow and, and t I tend to like uh, often post his videos and they say, this guy's awesome. Uh, and I looked into him a little bit and then I saw he was speaking at this upcoming Anarcho Vegas conference, which is another sort of fork of Anarchapoco, uh, which is coming up. Uh, I'll just look up the dates here right now. It's right after Freedom Fest in uh, Las Vegas. So it's July 19th, 21st. I saw that uh, Bo's speaking there, Larkin Rose, Jared Griffin, uh, Josh Sigurdsson, Luke Radowski, Dan Dix, uh, a lot of people, all friends of mine, so, so very cool, but uh, I didn't know Bo that well. So I checked out a few of his videos, and I saw as well that they tend to get shared on things like Occupy Democrats and stuff, uh, but he really has kind of an anarchist message in most of his videos that I saw anyway. Uh, so I was very curious to have him on and to figure figure out who he is and, and what he's all about because uh, he seems pretty cool and it's, it's pretty cool if it is it's like it's him and he's talking about his guns and his still and <laughs> like a southern boy kind of a thing and, and I, I think that's really great because as I pointed out in the past with people like TJ Brown or that guy T uh, who's a uh, dark skinned fella from Atlanta uh, that uh, talks sort of like street language to the kids but he's talking about anarchy uh, like just having these different people from different walks of life uh, talking in different ways about these things and he actually doesn't even really rarely mention the word anarchy in his videos and, and they get shared all over the place. So anyway, I don't know a lot about him. I really just met him for the first time here tonight. A uh, real pleasure to have you on, Bo. First question I have to ask you though is, how did you become an anarchist? Uh, I think I started as a, kind of a right-wing minarchist to begin with. Um, and then uh, more questions about authority. And, and if you follow that kind of logic, to its ultimate conclusion, you're going to realize that anarchism is, is where it takes you. Uh, and then traveling, you know, everywhere I went when I was contracting, I realized, you know, we were never fighting a person. We were fighting people who were enacting the policy of a government or some other control mechanism. So. Yeah, so you used to be a military sort of contractor, and that, in fact, a lot of military people uh, turn out to be libertarians and even anarchists afterwards, and probably for the same reasons you just described, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's uh, there's nothing that will turn uh, turn you on to exactly how messed up the system is than being the tool of its implementation. You know, it, it really it really clears it up for you real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I haven't seen it myself, but I can only imagine. I'm glad I haven't seen it. It sounds horrible. Um, <laughs> but uh, so w how did you get started uh, doing these videos? I think I saw that so I was trying to look you up a little bit, and I saw you used to work for Antimedia, which are friends of mm -hmm. mine. Um, and so you've been kind of like a journalist and doing these sort of things for a while? Yeah, uh, after I stopped contracting, you know, I mean, my skill set at that time was gathering information and shooting a gun. You take away the gun, I'm a journalist. Um, so I started with digital media or digital journal out of Canada and then went to anti-media, which I absolutely loved, and then went over to the fifth column. Uh, these videos started when uh, I was around some other journalists and I had always hid my accent. And I, we were drinking and all of a sudden it came out and they're like, oh my God, you, you're a redneck. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And this is why I hide it. Um, and they kind of convinced me to do a video um, showcasing my accent. The first one I did is actually on my personal page. And it, you know, I'm on a tractor wearing overalls, trucker cap <laughs> dip in my mouth. And uh, the, the, this amazing thing happened as I made more and more of those videos and I was really playing up the accent and the hillbilly. Um, I realized it resonated with people a lot more than when it's me with my whiteboard trying to, you know, break everything mm -hmm. down into crayons. <laughs> so uh, eventually I made them for a year or so and then finally put them on their own page. And then, I mean, six, seven months later, it's they're everywhere. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, it was a very unintentional thing for it to go out like this. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's great. And that's what I said earlier, that we need a lot more people to kind of have their own style and put their own style into things. Because obviously people aren't going to just all listen to me. I'm kind of this preppy guy with a pop collar and I, I'm trading cryptocurrencies and stuff. But I'm not going to resonate with a lot of hillbillies and, and rednecks and all that kind of stuff. So we need people like yourself to go out there with your, your culture and your background and, and just sort of enunciate it that way. And, and personally, I love it. Like I, when I was watching your videos and you're like, I'm, I'm just working on my still and all this sort of stuff. I'm like, oh, this guy's cool. I totally could get along with this guy. Totally fine. Uh, but I was actually, uh, when I first saw you, I kind of thought, oh, he's probably going to be some Trump guy or something, right? Because that's, that's what I just assumed. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, there was one video in particular I clicked on. It was about immigration. And you're talking about the immigration crisis and, and that sort of thing. And I'm like, here we go. He's going to say, we need more government to keep out these, these dirty brown people and all this sort of stuff. But you didn't. You, you went on to basically say what I kind of believe. It's like, well, the government should play no role in this. Uh, you know, what would Jesus <laughs> do would Jesus go down there with guns and like attack all these little kids uh, obviously not and I was like oh this guy's awesome so so it's great that you've you've done that so so has it really just been recently that you've kind of done this fifth column and is fifth column bigger than just you is it an organization or is oh, that your yeah. thing oh yeah no um, the fifth column is 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 huge there's oh, sorry I, the, I've the, never heard of it before so no well it, you're not supposed to it, oh, it's okay. kind of I mean the tagline is join the infiltration it's not supposed to be openly anarchist um, oh okay and but the Pontiac Tribune greed media the fifth column news all of those are part of TFC um, oh. uh, and I'm the well I'm not doing it very much right now, but I'm supposed to be the editor over at the fifth column. <laughs> I just have had more on my plate lately. Um. That's great. And um, I heard that you get, you know, your videos get shared all over the place. Like, I'm, I'm sure you know this, um, like, uh, apparently a lot on Occupy Democrat and stuff like that. Is, is there any particular <laughs> reason you think that you've been able to kind of, like, go to both sides uh, and sort of infiltrate a little bit through, through the way that you talk about these topics? I think, in fact, I actually just talked with one of the guys over at uh, Occupy Democrats because they kept titling me as a Southern liberal. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. hang on now. Um, and it was funny at first, you know, because everybody that knows me was like, man, he's going to hate that. But, uh, <laughs> but they, and they did drop that when I asked him about it finally. But I think it, it, because I don't use the A word, in fact, there are memes now when somebody actually says, you know, anarchism on the Facebook page or whatever, a meme will you know, pop up and says, you know, we don't do that here. Um, <laughs> I think because I don't use the word, they share it. And the amazing part about it is it just, to me, it just shows that everybody deep down knows that's what's right. Mm -hmm. When you talk about it without labeling it, they know that's the way it should be. Um, and then the political parties get involved and the government gets involved and we're a mess. But, but I think it's the, it, it's the, the fact that deep down, the people that are running that page know it's going to resonate with people because most people who are politically active at some point, they really do want the best. They want the best for the world and they have their own vision of how it's going to get there. And then somehow the politicians come in and start whispering in their ears. The next thing you know, guys that are for small government want a police state and a wall. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting. I, I I really like the the approach of not using the A word as you as you call it. Of course, I totally don't use that approach. My show's called Anarchast. I have a conference called Anarchapoco. I I call myself a macro capitalist freedom fighter. Uh, so I've gone the total other way. But look at the views I get. I get ten thousand views, twenty thousand views. You get hundreds of thousands of views, or even millions of views. And I think it's totally the right approach. In fact, I told you right before the show that one of the best anarchist books ever, in my opinion, uh, the market for. Liberty, which was written decades ago, is a book essentially describing how the world would work without government. They were essentially anarchists, but they never used the A word even once. And I think that makes total sense. And and as you pointed out, like there's you have the left guys and the right guys, and they both have different things that they want. But libertarians can get along with both on about half of what they want, right? So, mm. so we can get along with the left guys when they're like, hey, all drugs should be uh, decriminalized. We're like, yeah, totally. We'll totally get along with that, right? And all the right guys are like, no one should be able to take our guns. We're like, 
Yeah, totally. Yes. <laughs> so let's agree where we agree. Let's sort of kind of infiltrate. And I guess mm -hmm. that is the, the, I looked up just before this interview, the meaning of fifth column, and it means mm -hmm. to infiltrate uh, from within sort of an organization. I guess that's really what you're doing. And congratulations on that. So uh, really been enjoying seeing your videos. I'm going to definitely watching more. Uh, is there anything else uh, you want to let us know about what you're doing or the fifth column or anything else that we haven't talked about? Well, I think one of the main things that we've done is that it's, it's, we've been able to, at, at TFC, we've been able to kind of force mainstream outlets uh, to open up to other conversations. And that's why we titled it The Fifth Column when we founded it was because that was the goal. We're going to open the gates, you know, mm -hmm. let the average person in, let the new ideas in. And so we're the media's fifth column and it's worked. Um, it's kind of surprised me how well it worked, to be honest, <laughs> but it, it's, it's, it's working. Um, so. Yeah, that's great, and I, I can totally see why it does work, and uh, I think a lot of other people out there, you know, if you live in China, do one in Chinese, and don't use the word anarchy, just do what Bo's mm -hmm. doing, kind of just talk about these issues, talk, you know, from your heart, like I think Bo does, well, from the videos I've seen, uh, but you don't really necessarily get into the, the exact political terms for what you're talking about, because as soon as you mention, by the way, I'm an anarchist, and, and then like half the people just turn it off right away, because they've been triggered, they've been programmed, that that word's dangerous, and that these people are crazy for some reason, they don't even know because they've been programmed. Uh, so it's really great uh, that um, that you've had such success with it. Um, I'm going to put links to your stuff down below so if people can check it out. I definitely have enjoyed what I've seen so far. You're also going to be speaking at Anarca Vegas coming up mm -hmm. in July, which is right after Freedom Fest. I'll be there as well. Uh, they haven't announced that yet. We're going to be announcing it soon. Uh, so I'll see you there. And uh, maybe we can even get you down to Anarca Poco next year. It's in February, just so you know. Uh, is there anything else you want to let people know? Uh, websites, uh, anything else? Uh, no, just uh, try it out. Watch a few. See what you think. Yeah, for sure. You're a lot less talkative being interviewed than you are on your videos. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I'm not really uh, sure. You know, I normally hit need, I need a prompt of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was expecting with all your videos that you, you go on with answers for like 20 minutes, but it uh, doesn't appear to be the case. But uh, uh, <laughs> but I, I enjoyed it nonetheless, and I do enjoy your videos. So uh, thanks for coming on. And uh, like I said to everyone out there, check out his work. It's, all the links are going to be down below. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share. And that's it for Anarchast, your home for anarchy on the internet. Peace, love, and anarchy. Anarchapoco is so hype, I'm trying to tell ya. This the event of the year and best vacation ever. Ryan Potter, Jeffrey Tucker, just to name a few. Get your tickets, you don't want to miss it. You should roll through. Talking politics to health and self-improvement to investing. So many things, not one thing. Learn how to live life unchained, yeah. Four days vibing on the beach, time to connect. All about growth, way more than a conference. This is Anarchapoco, yeah. Let's go. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs>